So Gracie, do you have any predictions for this episode? Interesting. Okay, fine. You leave it. Okie dokie. Okay. Hello, volume being. Hi, how you doing? And today we're watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season three, episode five. Oh yeah. Who I'm so excited, especially after the last episode, which was a whole lot, and we got just a lot. <laughs> and then this one is called Homecoming. I mean, if we get a homecoming dance, homecoming football rally, like I am about this, please. Especially since they're seniors now, come on, that's the shit. You get to do the whole go home freshman thing and it's a staple in American lifestyle. So I'm excited to see where that goes, homecoming. Um, yeah, we haven't seen many like football games, so maybe we'll get to see that. Especially since, isn't Cordelia a cheerleader? I don't know if she still is. She was last season, I'm pretty sure. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe we'll get like more Cordelia stuff because we've been lacking in the Cordelia center. Like, I need more with my woman. Like, she is amazing and I love her. That'd be pretty cool. I kind of doubt that. I don't know. Cordelia doesn't seem like the kind where she would get an episode all by herself, especially after the one that she got in season one, but we will see. So yeah, overall with like the whole like plot and everything, looking to see if we get more Angel stuff. Maybe we'll get more. Maybe Buffy will tell Giles and everyone about Angel. Probably not. So yeah, that'd be pretty interesting. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see Scott. <laughs> I love him and I... <laughs> Uh, I want it to work out. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so yeah, anything else? I don't think there's anything else really that we got last episode that I think is going to continue besides the angel stuff. So yeah, I got nothing else to say. Let's just get into it. And it is our last homecoming dance, so maybe we should make a big deal of it. You want to talk fun? Public bus. If we get a scene at homecoming, I'm going to be so happy. The homecoming queen doesn't go to the dance in advance. <gasps> Use your head. Well, well technically, you haven't been elected yet. Cuddle some. And if we all split the bus. Buffy, goodness. I know if I go and all. Why wouldn't you go? You already have your tickets. Where's Scott? Unless you don't have a date. <gasps> there he is. Did Scott not ask her to the homecoming dance yet? Scott. Thanks, Cordelia. <sighs> Humiliation's really good for my color. No. Oh, no. Um, well, no, I assumed that you would think it was corny or something, but I, I'm in. I mean, I'm gonna cry. You know, Baby, are you down, 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 down? My guys always finish last. Oh, no! <laughs> my subtitles were shivering and moaning. <gasps> Angel, how you doing, my guy? Who's that? Is that Buffy? Oh, is she like popping in? My <laughs> god, she's just me. Happy the back. <laughs> So can he speak? Wait, he's already spoken. He said Buffy. But can he say more words? How are you feeling? It's like good now. It hurts. What hurts? Less. Well, oh. I haven't told Giles and the others that you're back. Giles. Why not? And, I, I, and I'm gonna keep helping you get better. Pretty much everyone except Xander wanted him to get better. It's just that everything's different now. And I'm involved with someone. Okay, I didn't like that. <laughs> nice guys always finish last, should have known. He fixed her collar. I'm gonna. <sighs> My standards are so low. He's, <laughs> God. He's a nice, solid guy. <laughs> Those guys for the win. I'm sorry. Me happy. <laughs> I'm sorry. And that's what I need. Exactly. You need someone that normalcy. I can count on. Exactly. Buffy, I'm so happy for you. What the fuck was that? see each other anymore. Oh, I'm... Why, Scott? Scott! Before we were going out, you you seemed so full of life, like a force of nature. Now you just seem distracted all the I'm time. Always... I... Please, Scott, please. I'm really sorry. You know what? I have lost all faith in love. There's no point. God damn it. I'm so mad right now. They didn't even get to go to homecoming. You couldn't even give me that scene, Joss, come on. Oh God, what the f <laughs> Oh, okay, we got the pedo van. What? Are we, do we know that person? Are those the same person? Whoa, where the hell are we? They see me roll. Who's this dude? 
In the nubile <gasps> flesh, my friend. Oh, is that the same vampire? That's the target. This dude is interesting. I'm about it. That's the target for what? Wait. Oh, the Slayer, obviously. So, okay, I'm really, really upset about the Scott thing. Like, not gonna lie, I'm pissed. I hope he comes around. Maybe they'll see each other at the homecoming dance. If we don't get a homecoming dance scene... <sighs> Joss, if I see you on the street... I don't even know if he wrote this episode. <laughs> Oh, are we gonna get to see the, the mayor? mayor see you now. <gasps> bro, bro. They were spotted in town three days ago. And just <gasps> they are not showing his face. Frederick and Who Hans is it? Grew in flight 1402. Okay, I don't know this I person. should have brought it to your attention sooner. Why are you I, smelling I it? Would you show me your hands, please? Sir? Is he gonna like, cut them off? Oh my god, if he... I think they could be cleaner. Of course, sir. I, I mean, I, I, I washed them, but... Why is he like 22 years <laughs> too early to this? Oh, it's, it's a picture day. That is so cute. <laughs> you party heavily. And that'll be fine. I mean, you're still going to that dance, right? Maybe. Do it. Party it up. Come on. We'll find a couple studs. We'll use them and discard them. That's always fun. <laughs> okay, I'm in. God. Not the stud using part, though. Or probably not. <laughs> Buffy, you bad. Who's that? Is that Jenny's replacement? Hi. No. So glad that I Never mind. Were you absent a lot, um, Buffy? God, I hate letters of recommendation. I hope you'll consider me for homecoming queen. <laughs> that was said that to Cordelia. <laughs> Am I invisible? Can you see me? Biggest lie. Why are they not, like, I was supporting her? What do you mean? Well, you, uh, missed the picture taking. When? Why? We did them yesterday. Didn't Cordelia tell you? No, no, I. These are the worst friends ever. No. It involves being part of this school and having actual friends. Can't relate. <laughs> She's not gonna then run, is will. she? What does that mean? I'm gonna show you how it's done. Is that where this episode's going? I'm not talking about the Slayer. I'm talking about Buffy. You've awakened the prom queen within. <laughs> I mean, I'm about and this music. <laughs> this is awesome. Competition. Competition is a beautiful thing. It makes this us dude, strive. This dude looks so cool. <laughs> Accomplish occasionally makes us kill. We all have the <gasps> It's the cowboy dude! I mean, whether we're human. Knew he was coming back. Whatever the hell you are, my brother, you got. Are you a dinosaur? <laughs> the games will begin in a few days' time. It's a game. Talk. Welcome to Slayer Fest '98. I'm into that. Yes, I'm just not into Buffy and Cordelia being pinned against each what other. Do you think like this. I'm not into that. Nice. Hopefully, it'll be cool. Are we on first, <laughs> second, or uh, <laughs> ye gods? Oh, a gentleman never talks about his conquests. Conquest god. So when did you become a... <gasps> That's so cute! I was gonna go with gorgeous. We love a hype man. Yes, don't make this weird, please. Are they gonna... Oh, please. Are they gonna... Oh, no. Uh, come on. I am not endorsing this. No. Because I respect you and us, <sighs> and I would never. I would never either. Waits for laugh. Okay, you're right. Making oh, fun of a competition only makes really seem petty. <laughs> Mom, not actually popular. Look at the weaknesses. Exactly Let's get cracking. Xander looks in pain. I don't really like this competition thing. I don't know. I thought after last season they were on better terms. Like Giles! Hello! Oh, I... I love the contrast between what's going on. <laughs> that was disgusting. Oh. Is that Scott? Come on, Scott. Scott! Oh. We're best friends. I'm not gonna hold it against you. 
No. It's kind of a shitty thing to do, not gonna lie. I'm not a friend, I'm a rabid dog who should be shot. But there are forces at work. How can you think it's okay to talk to people like this? And do you have parents? Yeah, two of them, unlike some people. Whoa. <laughs> brain isn't even... When I look at you now, it's like I'm seeing you for the first time. Xander, please stop. <laughs> I'm talking about Buffy and Cordelia. Me too. What are we gonna do? I mean, we... This is the sweetest thing. Is anyone else uncomfortable? What are we gonna do? Poppy, you look so cute! That is so cool! Cornelia, you look so nice too! Oh, is that the limo driver? Shit! I'm not Do they afraid. think that Cordelia is fake? You must have that sallow tint. If they get to fight in those dresses, I'm gonna be so happy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to Slayer Fest '98. I love this. What is this? No, that's 17 now. To run for your. We life. go on like most dangerous game Maybe. route. That's. Maybe. Have a nice death. The font. <laughs> She's a slayer. I'm a homecoming queen. Oh. Ah, oh, it's working, my guy. Love that red tux. Oh, Scott, really? Moving on so quick. Fuck off. I hope I never see Scott again. <laughs> Why? Ah, Scott, come on! Giles, hello. <laughs> Is he like a chaperone? I love that. Look out! Oh my god. <laughs> Scott? There you are, honey. Hey, good Faith. news. The doctor says that the itching and the swelling and the burning should clear up, but we gotta keep using the ointment. Hi. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, they've been gone for a while. They must really be getting into it. You can say that. I'm never gonna know if it's real between me and Xander, if it's just some temporary insanity that made me think I loved him. We are gonna get out of here and we are gonna head back no. to the library where Giles and the rest of the weapons. Giles, it's me and Cordelia. We're in a cabin in Miller's Woods. We're oh, in this the shot. Table. Yes. <laughs> Cordelia. <laughs> <laughs> so are they assumed dead now? Well, he's her watcher. She'll show. Guess as soon as she gets rid of some. They got away? Temporarily. Well, give it up for the slayers. They Wait, got character. How does he how is he tracking them? Oh, probably the corsage thingies. Evening, gentlemen. How may I help you? Excuse me. Anybody got a one over here? Jungle Bob and Spike Head are down now. We've lost the German. Was that from the mayor or? <laughs> oh. Buffy is just the runner-up. I'm the queen. You get me mad? What do you think I'm gonna do to you? Later. I love Cordelia. <laughs> and they're hooked into us. Oh, God. I need some wet toilet paper. Yeah, that'll help. Fire when ready. Are they gonna shoot each other? I... Love that. So do they actually think that they're dead now? What's the mayor doing? This is a very important year for me. Re-election year? <laughs> I love that name, by the way. You see, that's the kind of initiative I need on my team. What if I don't want to be a part of the team? He's recruiting oh, vampires no. for that his won't team. Be an issue. And the winner is. Who's he gonna be? Hey, I believe we have a first for Sunnydale High. We have a tie. 
The winners are Holly Charleston and Michelle Blake. Okay, I was, I was gonna say, is it not gonna be either of them? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that she would see Scott at the homecoming and then just like maybe kick him. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna move you even further away from each other. Maybe put Charles in the middle of you. Mind your distance. Oh my god, that episode was so good. I loved it so much. Oh my god. Wasn't expecting Angel to be in it so little. He was in, I think, one scene. And then that was it, which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting a whole lot more with that, but that's pretty cool. And the whole homecoming thing, beautiful. I really, really liked it. And then we also had the whole like Slayer Fest thing, which I love Mr. Trick. I'm so into that vampire. And I, now he's like working with the mayor. Bro, I cannot wait to see where that goes. That looks so cool. And also just like the mayor in general, the mayor looks kind of wacko. I don't know what's gonna happen with the mayor. And also, you know, Snyder is in there too. The Snyder knows the mayor. So yeah, with uh, the whole homecoming thing, we had um, Buffy and Cordelia like competing for homecoming queen, which, um, when they first started that little arc, I was like, okay, um, okay. I've seen this many times before. Obviously, I'm not saying that it's overdone, because I'm sure it wasn't that overdone in 98. So yeah, nonetheless, we did get that little competition between the two of them, which I, I think I've already said this before. I don't really like when TV shows and movies, like, pin, like, female characters against each other, because it's like... I don't know, I just, oh god, like, why can't we just all be chill? I understand it's high school, and it's Cordelia, and, like, she's just like that, but, like, come on, let's just have, like, a fun time, chill out! It would have been a lot cooler if Buffy was just, you know, helping Cordelia win, and then, no! I understand, Buffy was trying to, like, find her, like, high school, like, experience again, which I get but also Cordelia, like, that's her whole thing, you know? And Buffy has her thing, Cordelia has her thing, and I guess Cordelia was like, get off my property, this is mine, stay in your lane, Buffy. So yeah, I'm glad we got more with Cordelia, because I love her, and then we got, you know, the whole limo thing, and that bringing them into the Slayer Fest, which was so good. I liked that so much and it gave them some a chance to like, you know, work it out between them and then, you know, fight obviously, which I love. So that was very cool. So yeah, um, speaking of Buffy, <sighs> Scott, okay. I liked this dude so much and then he goes and finds a new girl immediately. Dude, have at least a buffer period. Fuck you, God. I don't know, Scott just reminds me of this dude that I dated and I, <laughs> ah! I don't know, Scott's whole reasoning was like, uh, you seem kind of distracted and that means you're not paying attention to me. And for that reason, I'm out. I don't know, that's just from personal experience. So as soon as that happened, as soon as he got with someone else, I was like, fuck this, God. I'm really glad Buffy didn't see him with someone else because if that happened, I would have cried. But nonetheless, she did get broken up with, it just sucks. But I think they did that so that they could pave the way for when, you know, Angel gets better and, you know, she starts dating Angel again, which, I don't know. At this point, I don't know if they're meant to be together because it's like, <sighs> I know it's like a forbidden love story, but you know, the vampire slayer and the vampire, you know, being together, it's forbidden love. I love that trope. I love it so much, but also I don't think they're good for each other because Buffy wants a normal life so badly. Why the hell would she want to date a vampire, you know? No offense, I've been re-watching Twilight, so don't come at me for making this comparison and but um, bleh, make me, let me do this. Because like with um Twilight, you know, Bella, she didn't want a normal life and she wanted something extra and that's why she wanted to be a vampire and be with vampires. With Buffy, she just wants a normal life. So her dating Angel doesn't seem like the right option. So 
I don't know. Maybe that's just me at this point, but like, I don't know. Also, Angel has been, you know, away from Buffy for hundreds of years. So like, I don't even know if Angel still feels the same way. Maybe. I was so hopeful with Scott and then Scott turned out to be a dick. God. Obviously these are all jokes. Scott is not actually a dick. You know, he was just doing what was best for him. Blah, blah, blah. But let me live. Let me make jokes, okay? I'm over exaggerating like I always do. But you guys know that. But yeah, um, I hope she finds someone else because again, she deserves that normalcy and she deserves it. Oh God. Ugh. I don't know, Buffy just deserves better. And that's that on that. Okay, moving on. So yeah, I think the only other thing this episode, we got Willow and Xander. Oh, I, I really don't like that one bit at all. Not even a little bit, like on the scale of one to 10 on if I like it or not, it's a negative five. I absolutely despise that, God. I don't know if that's a popular opinion. I'm, I'm hoping so because both of them are in relationships. You don't do that. No. Mm -mm. And now it's making all weird between them. God, just be a decent human being and not kiss someone that you're not in a relationship with. And now they're acting like super weird around each other and I'm wondering if that's gonna continue on because they didn't really resolve anything this episode. They were just like, that happened, wish it didn't, and then continued acting weird around each other and then uh, I just really didn't like it especially because I I want to like these characters and doing that I don't know hopefully Cordelia and Oz don't find out I mean they deserve to find out because that's kind of a shitty thing to do to someone but I don't want them to feel bad <laughs> so especially after Cordelia this episode saying that she possibly loves Xander and Xander turns around and does that bullshit like Xander, again, do you not know what you have? You're dating Cordelia. You cannot be messing this shit up. God. Oh, and I forgot to mention all the people that were like in the Slayer Fest and were like hunting the Slayers. So, goodness. Yeah, we got um like these two twin dudes, they're dead. And then we also got another dude. I forget, I forget what his shtick was, but he got his like leg you know? And then he also had the yellow, like, dinosaur-looking bitch. I don't know. I, is he dead? I don't think so. No, yes, he is. We also have the cowboy dude and his wife. His wife is... He's still alive, which again, I don't know if he's gonna be coming back again? I don't know. It, it seemed like he was just in this episode, like... Oh my god, dude, that's the dude from the episode last season. Like, that was... He didn't really do much. Like, he... He had that set up for, you know, Cordelia's awesome, you know, lines about, you know, I'm the queen, bitch, fuck you, basically. I don't know if he's gonna be coming back. I mean, he's still a vampire in the universe, so he's totally, it's totally plausible that he could come back. Just story-wise, I, I don't know, maybe he's gonna, like, hop back to Mr. Trick and be like, hey, what's up? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, we also had, like, that Alfred-looking dude that was helping the twin people hunt and he like thought he won by the way his like computer stuff that was it reminded me of jurassic park like it looks high tech at the time but like looking back it's like what are you doing <laughs> but yeah anything else that i'm forgetting i don't think so there was a lot happening this episode but i feel like it intertwined a lot nicer you know you know how like i said last episode it was a lot but it didn't make sense to me like it was just all over this episode i don't know it was just so well told and i think it was david greenwald's i, I green something he wrote and directed this episode. Again, writing and directing comes right from your brain into television. And I like when we get a chance to see those types of episodes because there is no interpretation of a script. You know, there's more control over it. And I think he did, he did a really good job about it. Even like the more stereotypical things like Buffy running for homecoming queen and we had the whole montage of like her trying to convince people to vote for her. Like it was, 
it was fun to see. And especially in this episode where we had a Slayer Fest where a bunch of people were going to hunt the Slayers, Buffy and Faith, in a like most dangerous game kind of way. Like, I don't know, it just, it felt very real for this universe, if that makes sense. It felt authentic and I really liked it. God. Okay, so I'm gonna stop raving about this episode, but yeah. Thank you again to all my beautiful patrons over on Patreon. You the realest? But with that, that's all I gotta say about Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 3, Episode 5. I will see you guys next video. Bye!